We are counting, we are counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. How are you, grade threes? Are you okay? I am fine. It's your teacher announcer. Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. Wow. We are still here on ordinals. Who can remind us the rules we said yesterday on ordinals? Teacher, ordinals are used to rank. They are used to rank things. They stay to the position of things. Very good. What else? Apart from first, second, and third, all the other numbers from 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, you use the original number and you add a th. The original number and you add a th. Original number th. Original number th. Up to 19th. And what about 20th? What did you say about 20th? On 20th, the words that end with y. The words that end with y. For example, 20. We said on this word, like 20, the one that end with y, what happens to this? You cancel the y. And after canceling the y, do you write 20? No. You say 20. Then where the y was put an i, e, before you add a t, h, to form the word 20th, which means the rule will apply to all the letters that end with y. For example, 20, second one, 30, someone else, 40, oh, Janet, 50, ah, Oscar, 60, yes, Jen, 70, 80, 90. But on 100, it now changes again to something else, okay? But that one you now learn when you're going to grade 4, 5, like that. But as for now, you're only reaching 20. But at least you have a clue on what happens with the number that ends with a Y. A y. Now, yesterday, we talked about these birds. They, when I was coming to school in the morning, on an electric wire, I saw five birds resting on the wires. And the first bird from the left was the stock. Then we had the crane, then the parrot, then the pigeon, and then the hawk. So, and we did how we, I showed you how to write their names when now writing the ordinal name. And today we want to write the ordinal symbol. We want to write the ordinal symbol. The symbol of the ordinal. We want to write the symbols here now. So I told you, from the word 6, you get the word 16, then it becomes 16th. So stock was the 16th bird. According to our ordinals, we started wrong. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. Then we came to 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th. Now when we are counting things, this stock was the 16th bird. So stock was the 16th bird. And which bird was in the 17th position? It was the crane. Then we had the pigeon in the 18th position. Then we, no, the parrot in the 18th position, and then the pigeon in the 19th position, and lastly, the hawk in the 20th position. Now I want to show you how to write the symbols. This word is very long. Yes, it's very long. So in, if a question asks, which bird was in the stock was in which position? In, <coughs> excuse, instead of using the word 16th, you can write the number 16. And what did we say? You pick the last two letters, which is a T, H, to make the word 16th. So the symbol for the number, for the ordinal 16th, becomes 16 the number with a T, H. What about the crane? The crane was in the 17th position. You see the word 17th is too long. So sometimes if you're not asked about the word, you can now use the symbol. And how do you write the symbol for number 17? You write 17 as the number, then you add a T, H. Wow. 
What about the parrot? We are saying the parrot was in the 18th position. Look at the word 18th. Also, too long. So what are you supposed to do? Write the number 18 and add a TH to form the word 18th. Okay? Then, what about the pigeon? The pigeon was in the 19th position. A word 19th again, it's too long. So what happens to it? You write the number 19 and add a TH. And lastly, we are on number 20. And which bird was in the 20th position? It was the hawk. And now, if I'm told to write the symbol of 20th, I will write the number 20 and then I add a TH. So that is as simple as that. When you're told, write the ordinals, write their symbols, write the number. At least now you will be able to do it very well and very easily without any any problem. Any question? Anybody who still needs some explanation? Teacher, we've understood it very well. Apart from the first, second, and third, all the other numbers have a TH. Now, can you tell me places where we use these numbers? Places where we use ordinals? Someone tell me. You haven't told me when do we use these ordinals? When do we use these ordinals? Tell me things that we use these ordinals in. We use these ordinals when you're writing the date. We use these ordinals when you're writing the date. The date. When I want to write the date in full, for example, my date today is, let me just assume, my date today is a Wednesday. And I'm told to write this date in full. Wednesday, which date is today? Wednesday 8th. Have you seen? Where I, I use the symbols? 8th. Then I indicate there the month, which is November. And then I indicate there the, the year, which is 2023. You see? Where have I used the ordinal to indicate the exact date? When are you traveling to Nairobi? I'm traveling to Nairobi on 20th. When are you coming back from Mombasa? I'm coming back from Mombasa on 5th. When are you planning to start your assessments? I'm starting my assessments on 8th. So this is, we use the ordinals when we are naming the debt, when we are saying the debt. Now, I have some simple exercise for you. Are you seeing our sounds, our letters, the alphabets? Now, I want you to go home with the help of your guardians, with the help of your guardians, I want us to state the position of each letter of alphabet up to which letter? Up to which letter? Um, S. S, T, T. So if this is my first letter, eh, then I come here and indicate B. Of course, use the capital letter C, D, or you can use both the capital and letter. So for example, A is in which position? A is in the first position. So I'm going to indicate there. A is in the first position. What about B? B is in the second position. And after now you've written the word, show me the symbol of that ordinal. For example, A is in the first position, I will indicate there first. B is in the second position, I will indicate there second. So you will do that up to the 20th alphabet. And the 20th alphabet is sound T. The 20th alphabet is this letter T. So we are going to do that as our assignment at home today. Up to there, any question? Any problem? Have you all understood what ordinals are? Ordinals are used to rank. Even in class, we'll be told your project was the first. Uh, Jane's project was the second. Janet's project was the third. Why? It is it help us to show which product, which person did the best, and who tried, and who it keeps on improving every now and then. Any question? Any problem? If there is no question, I hope to see you in the next lesson as we indulge in number work. Thank you very much.